Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalawam. To the Akiam and to the Akwath, that'll be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Rafaza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad, back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. What I'm going to be going into today is um, how there's a, there's a line that's been drawn, okay? There's a line that's been drawn of, 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 of whom you should serve, you know? And um, it'll behoove you to choose the Lord. Okay, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Because we're going to be coming to a great time of trouble, tribulation. And you're going to need a hedge of protection. Okay, the book of, chap uh, the book of Psalms chapter 34 and verse 7 tells you, say, The angel of the Lord encampeth round about those that fear him and delivereth them. Okay, when you read Psalms 91, it tells you how... The Lord is going to save the righteous that trust in his name. Okay? He's going to have the angel to bear them up. At least, they, at least their foot shall uh, dash against the stone. Okay? So you got to you gotta choose, you know? You cannot be, uh, you cannot be uh, lukewarm. Okay? The Lord said he would rather that you be cold or hot. Because if you be lukewarm, he's going to spew you out. All right, so you have to choose, man. The, the line is drawn in the sand, and it would behoove you to choose the Lord. Okay, so we're gonna get some scriptures to the edifying of the lesson. All right, this is the book of Joshua. All right, Joshua, chapter um, twenty-four. We're gonna start at fourteen. Right, it says, "Now therefore, fear the Lord, and serve Him in sincerity." And in truth, and put away the gods which your father served. Okay? Put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt. And serve ye the Lord. Okay? This is what, this is what you must do. Okay? If you're going to have a chance at salvation. If you, you, if you are part of the hopeful elect. Verse 15, it says, And if it seems evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve Yahweh. Okay, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, man. Okay, so you have to choose, make a decision. What you gonna do? Uh, okay, repent. The book of Acts chapter three and nineteen tells you to repent. Okay, that your sins may be blotted out. Okay, in the times of refreshing of the Lord, roughly paraphrasing. This is what you have to do. So you have to choose the Lord, okay? If you don't choose the Lord, you're going to be destroyed. A good reason to choose the Lord, right? And trust in Him. This is the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, meaning your mind. Okay, 
And it says, and lean not on thine own understanding. Lean not on your own understanding, okay? Trust in the Lord, all right? In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. So if you trust in the Lord, and you acknowledge him, he's going to direct your path, okay? Scripture tells you that man's going is of the Lord. How can then a man understand his own way? Okay, Proverbs 20 and 24. Okay, so you have to trust in the Lord, man. That's what it is. Lean not on your own understanding. All right? Another beautiful reason to trust in the Lord is the book of Isaiah, chapter 55 and verse, I'm going to start at verse 8. It says, for my thoughts, this is the Lord, Yahweh, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. Okay, he's speaking through Isaiah. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Okay? Another beautiful reason again to trust in the Lord. Okay, verse 10 says, For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and return it not thither, meaning there, but water it the earth and make it it bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Verse 11. It's my point. It's the point. So shall my words be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish Okay, it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Okay, so the Most High words doesn't turn back unto Him void. Okay, the Most High words go where He sent it. Okay, and it accomplishes what He sent it to do. All right, so the Most High words doesn't turn unto Him void. All right, doesn't return back to Him void. All right. This is the book of um, Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19. And it says, The Most High is not a man that he should lie, neither the Son of Man that he should repent. Had he said it, and shall he not do it? Okay. Or had he spoken it, and shall he not make it good? So if the Lord tell you something, you could bank on that. That's real. That's going to happen. Okay, just like the prophecies. The book of Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. It tells you, say, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. Meaning the prophecies. Okay? None shall water and make. Meaning no other book could be compared to the Holy Scriptures. Okay? For my mouth had commanded and his spirit had gathered them. Okay? So, hey... The Lord is going to make it good, man. For me say he's going to do it, he's going to do it. All right? This is the book of Malachi. Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6. And it says, For I am Yahweh, I change not. Okay? For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Okay? So, we are not consumed because the Lord doesn't change. So, the, 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 children, the children of Israel We benefited Because of the fact that the Lord doesn't change Okay So I'm going to jump to the book of Psalms And I'm going to read Psalms um, 124 This is uh, a Psalms of David our, 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 our king Okay Malak Tazadat Okay And it says the Psalms are the degrees of David if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord. Who had not given us as a prey to the to their teeth. Okay? Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. 
Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. That's right. To what do you how about Shim Yahushai? Okay? Our help is in the name of the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, who made the heaven and the earth. Okay? So we benefit it because the Lord does not change. Alright? I'm gonna jump from there and I'm gonna to go to the book of um, Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 5. It says, Thus said the Lord. Cursed be the man that trusted in man and make it flesh his arm. Okay, you look into man for your strength, okay, and for your power, and whose heart departed from the Lord. So the Lord is saying, Cursed be the man that trusted in man and make it flesh his arm. When the Lord is the true power, okay, you gotta get this, you gotta get this thing right, man. You gotta get it right. Okay, this is the book. Of Psalms 118 and verse 8 it says it's better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes okay so it's better to trust in the Lord you're gonna have to choose choose who you will serve okay as for me in my house we shall serve the Lord okay and that's what it is man I'm gonna go to the book of Psalms Psalms chapter 37 and verse 39 and it says but the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord okay he is he is their strength in the time of trouble okay and the Lord shall help them okay and deliver them he shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in his name okay so like you good morning What's up, how y'all doing Maxima, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I have to go through um, security there. Yeah, let me read this again. Psalms 37 and verse 40. And the, I'm going to start from verse 39. But the salvation of the righteous of the Lord. It's like here. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. Okay? He is their strength. Right? He is their strength in the, in the time of trouble. The Lord is the strength of the of the righteous in the time of trouble. Okay? And the Lord shall help them. Alright? He shall help them. Okay? And he shall de and he shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in his name. Okay? So because we trust, so because we trust in his name, the Lord is gonna help us. Okay? All that trust in his name. Okay? All the righteous. That trust in his name okay so that that's it man you gotta gotta get it right because at the end of the day at the end of the day hey <laughs> you got to be seeking the lord you how about shimmy out shy man so hey the, the the line is drawn in the line is drawn in the sign man you got to choose you this day who you shall serve because for, as for me and my house we shall serve the lord okay so you need to seek the Lord while he may be found. Call thee upon him while he's near. Okay? This is what you have to do. Because it's going to be a time when you're not going to be able to find him. Amos 8 and uh, 11 lets you know there's going to be a famine of the word. So you're not going to see the man of the Lord out on the street. You know? At a certain point, you're not going to see the man of the Lord out on the street. So you got to get this word whilst you can get it. The YouTube is going to be shut down. And when, and when things... Uh, when, when uproars of the people start going on again, certain type of way, you know, you're not going to see the man of the Lord out on the street, so you won't, you're not going to be able to get the breakdown for these, for this gospel, for the, for the good news. So, hey, seek the Lord, okay? Don't make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, you know? Seek the Lord, Isaiah 55 and 6, right? Don't make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord go forward and in your security you shall be destroyed. Okay? So hey, you got to seek the Lord. Stop putting it off because the Lord is going to come in the teeth as a thief in the night. Alright? He, he, he warned you and told you all through the scriptures, to scriptures he's going to come as a thief in the night. So hey, seek the Lord, man. And when you seek the Lord, I'm going to leave you with this last scripture. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter 43 and verse 30 and it says this is a good way to, 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 to seek the Lord okay it says when ye glorify the Lord exalt him as much as you can 
For even yet will he far exceed. And when you exalt him, put forth all your strength, okay? And be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. Okay, we can never go far enough. So keep seeking the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay, First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 17 tell you, say, to pray without ceasing. Okay, pray without ceasing. Fast. Do what you have to do to seek the Lord in these times because you're going to need the Lord on your side. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there until the next time. Hopefully you were edified. I'm going to go ahead and give all honor and glory and praises unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Okay? Until the next time, Adawan Ratazah, that is to say, Lord willing, I'm going to say, Shalom. <laughs>